Hey, we've won two consecutive games. The Minnesota Vikings are on a roll and welcome to Vikings game plan from the TCO studios. I'm your announcer, Paul Allen. Joining us now, Ron Johnson from Fox 9 and Vikings Game Day Live. Pete Bursich, former player and coach for the Vikings, analyst for the Vikings Radio Network. The numbers, Peter. Let's go to the ever important take give. Both teams are minus three. Now, in the Vikings victories, they're plus five in the take give. In the losses, they're minus eight. It's big. It is, and you don't have to go any further than, than the games that both teams just played. The Vikings come out plus three, that's what happens. You get three interceptions, that's what happens when you make a team one-dimensional like they did the Lions. Conversely, the Chicago Bears, a one-score game, they're fumbling the ball, giving it up, Tennessee picks it up, scores a touchdown. You know, when you score on defense, you win over 90% of your games, and Tennessee went on to win that game. So the big, big factor in the last week for both teams has been that plus minus. Ron, the numbers. Yeah, when you look at the numbers, I, the, the take gear for me, I noticed that. But the one thing I'm looking at is the pass and the run. The Bears defense, even though they have Khalil Mack, and yes, they're coming after these guys in the past, you can run the ball on them. In that 3-4 defense, the key is going to be for the center figuring out which is the mic. And so when that count happens, the guard in the center, and this is going to come down to young Ezra Cleveland, he's going to have to know who the double team guy is. There were some great double teams happening with CJ Helm kicking out the uh, edge guy. And so if they can figure that out, and Khalil Mack is CJ Helm's guy, I do take CJ Helm in that because it's the low man wins, and we know CJ's a load. So they can run the ball on the Bears. Yes, they have some big bodies, but don't get away from it because you know if you run, you can run play action. Let's stay with the running game, Peter. The Vikings average 160. 60 rushing yards a game, third best in the NFL. But as we move forward, having won two in a row, how badly is balance needed or going to be needed? What I mean, the Vikings are number one in the NFL in yards per run, but they also are last in the NFL with passing attempts. Needs to even out, right? It does. I mean, that's and that's what you see once teams get, you want to make a playoff run and you start getting into these games against the really good teams. Even though it's great to have a, huge, a strength, you can't have a glaring weakness. You have to have balance. And that's the one thing right now that we need to find. I think Cousins has played very efficiently the last couple of weeks. He hasn't been asked to shoulder much of the burden. Uh, but Dalvin Cook, you know, how long can he go? How long can he be, you know, the, the spark plug that he is? We'll see. And if he can do it this weekend against what I believe is the best front seven that we've seen this season and probably will see all season, um, it'll be an impressive feat. Well, if you look at plays total, they've only run about 460 plays. So they're one of the fewest as well in that category. Yeah. So I think you run to pass. You cannot run play action on the first play like the Falcons, not to beat a dead horse, but you have to run first. You saw that in this past game against the Lions. Early run, and then what happens? Rudolph's open. Justin Jefferson's open. Then you can go back to the run because you're in the red zone at that point. So I think that's going to be their recipe for success. And the Vikings right now, 31% of the time, Dalvin Cook is facing an eight-man or more box. That's the third most. So he is seeing eight-man boxes. Why? Because they are a top three running team. But what that eight-man box means is there's only three guys covering. Play action, man-to-man, -man, that's going to be their success recipe. If they win, who cares if they pass the ball 10 times? It's a win. Pete referenced it earlier. Roquan Smith never has played better. Akeem Hicks, Khalil Mack, Danny Trevathan, Bilal Nichols, Eddie Jackson on the back end. How do we move these guys with the with the moving company, Peter? Well, and you, you forgot Barkevius Mingo. Remember him, <laughs> that guy? He's out there, and it seems like whoever they pick up as free agents and plug into that front seven, they play well. It's going to be very, very tough, and you're just going to have to hang with it. I mean, they move those guys up front so much. They stunt. They move. Those linebackers, they just read things, and they flow. They're very good blitzers. They're very good covering man-to-man. -man. Um, it's going to come down to the Cousins keeping a cool head under pressure because he is going to get pressured and be able to deliver the ball down the field. You're going to get your one-on-ones. They're corners, Paul. They really don't even get out of their backpedal because they know that ball is coming out and the quarterback's not going to have a lot of time to throw it. You can get deep and you can get behind them. So the big plays, the big throws down the field, whether or not we catch those, that's going to determine this game.